Welcome back everyone to Gotcha Interact. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the four stars on the Kinnich Raiden banner in Genshin Impact. We were recently shown this through the official Twitter of Genshin and now we know. And so looking right at these four stars, just getting right into it, we are gonna be looking at Chevrus, Kujosara, and Toma. So jumping right in, uh, Vixen, I actually wanna hear your thoughts first. Well, I think overall for the characters, on maybe, I guess, looking at just the four stars themselves. I think that's how we should probably start this out and then kind of look at, I guess, the characters and, and how that might change going after the five star characters for you guys and what that might change. Looking at the four stars though, Shevra is an extremely good character. Uh, everybody, she kind of allowed Overload to kind of actually have a good usability now instead of before it was really annoying because it had a very big problem of just separating enemies without any good reason to do so besides just the reaction itself but now chevrous has allowed a buff to come from it uh mainly just because that she can give uh stuff from her own specific talents that she does so chevrous obviously everybody knows a very good overload teammate kujo sara a, a great electro uh, character mainly for raiden i know a lot of people don't see her as a very good usability character until you get to c6 especially with raiden and i might agree with that uh, personally for me as well i didn't even touch her until she was c6 so i understand that sentiment uh toma i know rift really really likes for his uh, burden <laughs> teams that he can make so another pretty yes. good character as well even still for possible burning teams but looking a little bit beyond that i guess the major question i guess right now then is what what are these forces going to do to these banners so i don't know rift what are you thinking because we've got two pyro characters and one electro character mm -hmm. on a kanish uh banner as well as on the same side as the raiden so it looks very nice for raiden but i want to hear your thoughts on this one i guess <laughs> yeah uh, you're right it's definitely for people who are targeting Raiden, this is a very good banner, especially if you're a newer player, you just started playing and you're considering your first five-star character. Raiden is a great pickup from the start, hands down, for a new player. Just a good, good five-star character to have. But with these four stars, it's even better because as a new player, you're, you're wanting to build your first team as fast as possible. And already with these four-star lineups, Two of these characters are Raiden's best and most favored teammates to use, even above most five stars. And if you're a new player, you're thinking, wow, that's crazy. But it's actually true. Chevrus is like a must have for the Raiden Overload team. Kujo, Sara, especially when you get to the C6. But even if you don't have the C6, can still be used as a very viable and powerful option to give Raiden a massive attack increase, as well as just another Electro character in the team to have that double Electro. If you are doing the Overload with a double Pyro with Bennett and Chevrus, so it's still a great character, but I would actually agree with you, Vixen, when you mentioned earlier how Kujo Sara is kind of just a character that sits on your count until you have C6, and I feel like it's that way for most people. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas a character like Farazan is going to be very valuable regardless, just because in the kit she's still giving so much, whereas Kujo Sara yes. gets a lot out of her C6. And so does Farazan too, but just already having a lot of capability without it. And so... It's a good uh, four-star lineup for new players, especially uh, just because Raiden, right? Raiden's a great free-to-play grab uh, for any player at any stage of the game. Now with Kinnich, um, or Kanish, um, it, it's a little bit harder to justify because he doesn't want Chevrus because you're not doing overload. You can throw Chevrus in the team. You're going to get Pyro and Burning, and if you're, you know, I can't say it's not going to work, but it's definitely not uh, optimal because that's just not how Chevrus wants to be played. You're not gonna be getting the overload going on in her kit where she wants only Pyro and Electro, so you're missing out on that. It's like doing a Nilu as a Hydro DPS, which it can be done, but it's just not her most favorable option. So, you know, it's kind of like that. So, and then Kujasara can't be used in the Kinnish team either. I mean, if you're going after an Aggravate thing, that's great, but I would just say at that point, just use a Tainari if you have it. Tainari might even perform better, who knows? And especially I'll hate them. You know, there's just better ways to go around doing a aggravate or spread team in general. Kinnich, I don't think, is going to be the answer to that. So really, Toma is the only somewhat okay viable option for Kinnich. Uh, if you're a new player, uh, you're just going to want the Pyro application. And so Toma will definitely feel that. But then the issue is, well, Xiangling's a free character in the Abyss. You just do a little bit of those stages in the Abyss as a new player, and you have Xiangling. And Xiangling is going to be a lot more damage than Toma will. And so kind of also like you stated earlier, Vixen, Toma's only actually okay usage 
as a character in Genshin for a team that can actually get you to end game is going to be Burgeon as an off field just because of his application. Xiangling can do the same exact thing, but it does allow you to keep Xiangling to her, you know, typical pyro damage build and not have to put her on like an EM full build with like Flower Paradise Lost or whatever. It's kind of like, you know, using Kuki so you don't have to throw Raiden on a Hyper Bloom because she just, while it works, you know, you want to keep writing on her typical four-piece emblem build and the same thing with Xiang Ling. And so Toma, he can do that role for you and is very, very good at it because he's applying pyro very fast from off field. And so, I mean, there's other cases that can be made. He can be thrown in a Risley Melt team just because, once again, the application. But when it comes to Toma, you're not looking for any personal damage in him. You can either go a full shield bot Toma, which can be okay and pretty decent very mid there's better options but that's why i just burgeon all the way with toma because that's just what he's going to do best and he's one of the best characters in the game at doing it so it's just weird for kinich this banner is uh it's not the best in terms of four stars there definitely could have been better options um they could have thrown shangling on here i think i mean because shangling is just a better unit than toma i mean i think most people would agree with that once again, she's free. You know, they could have thrown uh, Yao Yao on here. Yao Yao is a great free-to-play pickup, uh, so you don't have to ever target Baiju. Uh, so that could have been a character. And there's some others, too, uh, that they could have done. But nonetheless, it's still, a, I think, a very great lineup, especially because of Raiden. Like, Raiden should be a pickup that you should at least think about. I'm not saying you need to pick up Raiden 100%. But at least think about it, because she's such a powerful uh, character to have, and she's very fun as well. Yeah, that was that was a lot of information, but um, I, I, I do think that overall, looking at the characters and the lineups and whatnot, I think that when looking at the banners, like Rift was talking about, it's... Kanish, sadly, with this banner, doesn't look like he has a lot of reason to pull right now. Now, I think the whole reason behind pulling Kanish is pulling him is because of previous pulls that you've made specifically talking about do mm -hmm. you have a good shang ling that rift was talking about as well as bennett as well that's another great combo but also another character you're going to think about is emily so if you've grabbed emily no matter what this banner looks like kanish has to be high on that pull value so besides that i think looking on the other side of the banner this is very similar to what we saw in the last ride in banner is actually what I got uh, very was very happy with. But <clears throat> I think that overall, this banner is extremely good for Raiden. Now, Rift already talked about how great Raiden is as a character and why you should, you know, go after and pull her. But purely looking at the banner itself, it just brings her value up even more. If you are sitting at C0, R1 or whatever, and you're trying to go after the C2, this is an amazing banner to go for. This was very similar to the banner that I actually went to for her C2 as well. I was sitting at C0, R0, didn't even have her weapon. So even if you're sitting in that position, this is an amazing banner to pull on for either her or her constellations. I'm not too sure how many times or how many more times they're going to do it. I think a little, some people were a little disappointed because they kind of wanted, I don't know, maybe less from Raiden uh, in this instance. Maybe yeah, a little bit yeah. more uh, Chevers on a different uh, character, but... I think overall for Raiden enjoyers, Raiden enthusiasts, people who want Raiden, a really good character early game like we've talked about, this is going to be an extremely strong banner for you to pull on. And if you don't pull on this one, you might regret it later if you're looking for your first DPS and your first character in the team that's really going to pull you to end game. So I don't know, Rift. I think mm -hmm. overall, Raiden's side of the banner looks extremely strong. Like you said, though, Kanisha's side just looks very just sad it's it's borderline sad so <laughs> i think overall if you have previous things that make sense in your account for kanish he's a higher pull factor but sadly if you don't kanish can fall through the cracks not to say that you shouldn't pull him but looking at the four stars it does seem like it, it loses a lot of its uh, pull factor overall mm -hmm. i will say this if you are thinking about kanish and you know, it for, for a lot of patches, it can just take time. I would say if you're still on the edge, just wait it out. You have a full 21 days to kind of see what other creators are saying about Kinnich's play style, how good he actually is. Yes, we have all this theory crafting stuff and, you know, the pre-beta stuff that kind of gives us a general idea and is usually very accurate. But if you, you know, you never know if you actually want the character, especially until you try the trial version and really get the feel of the character and be like, oh, yeah. 
sometimes you just like really fall in love when you kind of never really expected it. And so just get a feel for the character through the trial, watch some guides from other creators, see what other creators have to say so you can correctly gauge if the character is good for your account. And, and that's just some personal advice I'd give. You don't have to pull immediately as soon as the banner drops, you have three weeks. And then another thing I kind of wanted to address, um, when we did our Kinich write-in to pull or not to pull, there are a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but enough comments to where I want to address it, talking about if Raiden is actually still a good character with Natlin now, and is she still a viable DPS? Can she still get through the content? And short answer, I think she is a, a good character still in Natlin. And if you have the team built, you have the Chevres, the Kujo Sara, the Bennett, you don't even need the C6 Kujo Sara. I mean, Chevres is there to help a lot as well. Like, you know, cause there's a lot of there's several different ways you could go about it. But if you're building for that team, uh, and if you use Kazwa, don't use Chevrolet because you need you know he's Animo, he's gonna ruin that. But there's options is my point. That team, however you go about it, is still super powerful. Even if you are doing the OG version of it using Yaimiko, you could even use Fischl as a sub. She's not terrible. That team can still work. I mean, Raiden's just so much damage. I've even done a lot of soup teams. When I first got Raiden, I didn't have uh, C6 Kujo Sara. So what I did was I just I just did a soup team. I used I had Yelon. You could use Sing Cho. I used Xiang Ling just because of all the all the damage that Xiang Ling brings to the table. She's just a great character. Raiden solves the energy problem. There's a lot of different things you can do, and it's just a fun character to use. Most of her teams are super super easy to actually play, and for me at least, and I have a C zero. I yes I have the weapon, but I still have C zero, and the catch is not that far off from the weapon if we're being really honest it's a very very good substitute four star that team can still clear most of the endgame content it really does depend yes on the last floor and the enemies that they throw at you but most of the time she can still clear that so i just kind of wanted to address that now if you still think she can't to you guys the your guys's point of she's not a good character anymore or maybe not you're, you're not saying she's not a good character anymore but just there are way better options Yes, there are better teams, like Arlequino Overload is better than Raiden Overload, and I think most people would say that, and I think that's why the argument even comes up. And Yeah, okay, Mr. Over here with C2 Arlequino, which is funny, actually, because Vixen has C2 Arlequino with her weapon and a C3 Raiden with her weapon, and I think you would still testify that the Arlequino still pulls more weight, just in general, uh, for the Abyss. It just feels better, you know, between those two teams, because I think that's the major or the most common comparison for Overload with Chevrolet especially, the the Raiden still gets the content done, and it's a very fun team to play. If you're casual, I wouldn't even worry about it, because if you're not even clearing the last floor every rotation in the Abyss, you're just getting through floor eleven because you don't care. You're you're casual and you don't want to sweat, right? So you just stop at eleven three and you're done. Then yeah. Raiden's all you need, okay? And she's just a she's just a fun character, guys. I, I don't I don't see what the issue is. She's so fun, okay? So I just kind of want to address that. I think to piggyback off of that, actually, really quickly before we end out here, I think <laughs> the biggest thing I think I want to say to that though is I totally agree. I mean, even with my higher constellation Raiden and my higher constellation Arlequino, no matter what, it doesn't matter because I mean I ran C zero Raiden with the R five catch for the longest time. And, you know, that was doing fine. As soon as her first banner came out, all I had was her. And I had to go fish, and I hated it. But it was worth it. It's a great weapon. <laughs> and so, um, besides that, though, I think that she's still an amazing character. Actually, let's switch the screen so that we know that we're talking about her. But I think, overall, she is a great character, though. That no matter what, she's still going to do great. And like you said, unless they put, like, a Thunder Manifestation in 12-3 or something like that, that's immune, like, Im like fully immune to Electro Damage it's very difficult to actually make her not usable, especially with this overload team that we're talking about here. Once again, right. you make a good point. Kujo Star is still useful at C0. She may not have as much use as a Farazan at C0, but she's still a great character, especially for someone who's just joining into the game. So getting Chevrolet, okay. getting a copy of Kujo Sara and Chevrolet, and pulling a Bennett in the team, and you have a free-to-play weapon, it's extremely goaded for already what's going on here. So... Oh, yeah. I totally agree with everything that was said here, but 
Besides that, though, if you guys did enjoy the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. If you guys have thoughts on whether or not these banners kind of change, whether or not you should be pulling for Kanish, or whether or not you should be pulling for Raiden, or putting more pulls into Raiden because of this amazing overload team, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. Also, if you guys are going after the C6 Chevrolet that I know a lot of people are trying to go after, since I believe this is her first rerun since her appearance? Question mark? I'm not too too sure about that but if it is i know still a lot of people are looking for the c6 chevrolet and that's been something that's been on their mind for a very long time so let us know down in the comments if you have or if she's going to evade you again once again thank you guys again for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one